Hi, how are you doing today? My name is Dara and in this video today, I want to show you how I install Windows Subsystem for Linux on my Windows 10 computer. What does Windows Subsystem for Linux mean? It is a Linux operating system that you can basically just run on Windows without needing to run a virtual machine or a VM or an Hyper-V or virtual box or whatever virtualization technology you use. So it runs on Windows directly. Linux on Windows. Isn't that cool? Now, that is what we do. Now, I've done a video on how you can activate the Windows subsystem for Linux for Windows Insider where you actually just have to use a command prompt to do that, just to bsl that dash install. Maybe in a later time that is coming directly to Windows 11, which I think would. Uh, but right now, if you're still on Windows 10 and you're not a Windows Insider, this is how you do that. Because for Windows Insider, it's just a cool easy step. Now on my Windows computer right here, I'll go into my start menu and then search for turn windows features on or off then it gives me a prompt and i need to scroll down i'll just check hyper v just because but i don't actually need to then i will check the windows subsystem for linux box and then click ok for that then it search all the required files for me installs it and then asks me to restart my computer after it's done installing all the things it needs to run so in a couple of moments it asks me now to restart my computer and then it will restart add all the features to windows and then i'll be ready to install my first linux distribution i can install pretty much any linux distro i want uh, for me i just prefer to use ubuntu 20.04 so right now it's asking me to restart my computer so i'll just go ahead and restart okay now i'm back on my windows computer now I'm back on Windows, just signing in. And then the next thing I actually need to go ahead and do is go to the Windows Store. That's the Microsoft Store, whichever then we're going to call it, it's fine by me. I go to the store. It takes a couple of minutes to look because the system just built it up anyways. I should have been patient, but I decided not to be. Then I'll go ahead and search for Ubuntu or Linux, as the case might be. I think I want to use Ubuntu 20.04, but because I own it anyways. So I'll select that and then go ahead and click install. Well, I've installed it on my other computer, so that's why it's telling me I own the app. So it goes ahead to download Ubuntu. And then installs it on my computer. Also, while that goes on, actually, I might just want to install the Windows terminal. Just because I like using it. This is a fresh computer. I haven't installed any other tools on it. So I think I better do that. So I'll just check on my downloads. Ubuntu 20.04 is done installing. So I can decide to launch it. So it's finishing up the installation process right now. This just takes a little bitty wee moment. And then it will be ready to go. Okay, it's done installing now. And then I have to put in the username I'll be using for Linux. So I'll put in Dara. And then it'll ask me to put in my password, which I will not tell you. And then it's done and ready. I'm ready to start running Ubuntu 20.04 on my Windows 10 computer. So I can set to do sudo apt update, put in my sudo password, and then I'm ready to go. That is how I install and use the BSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux on my Windows computer. I am running Linux on Windows. Exciting times there are. So guys, that's it. I just finished doing all the pseudo stuff. I can decide to run all kind of nice things I can or I want to do. That's about it in this video, people. Till I come your way again with another video. Stay safe and goodbye.